right? And we are and we are pushing the spirit of Yahweh Shah. We're not pushing the spirit of what America wants, right? Um, prosperity movement, um, the LBGTPH. We're not pushing that. No. What you want to say, sister? Question: What do you think about make America great again? You think America no, we do. We do want to make America great because of making America great. Let me get revelation. Because making America great is having America be on fire. That's what make America great, right? I mean, because guess what? America was never great for blacks and Spanish. Right? Uh, I said we street teaching and doing music to educate. All praise, I had this gift in second grade where I stay. They upgraded the murder from catching fades. Let's just say you niggas is weak in seven days. Cause how a nation come kidnap you and make you slaves. Then separate the children and parents, change their names. No damn it wanes for generations was made to pain. And we kill each other, but when this dummy don't say a thing, you niggas tripping. Well, in other words, y'all niggas Christian. Worship white Jesus when scriptures give his description. And shout out to my kindred that's really living was written. Even laws that was given instead of willfully sinning. I love saying Christ coming back, cause it's with vengeance. All we gotta do is endure, like it's an entrance. Rehearse the righteous ex, who spiritually is a scrimmage. And that real game start when the missiles pass the defenses. Let's get it, I'm chilling. It's scary, but it's thrilling. Never trust the opposition, they come near me, then I'm peeling. Like, aren't you glad we no longer killing and drug dealing? But instead, we out here healing, no more filling up them prisons. We almost at the ending, and now I don't care who like me. It's so a stroke for them folks, cause they scared to fight me. And you in sin, cause you clutching on that hand tightly. Calling on the Lord, you get ignored like scam likely. Step to the set, you getting checked like a pair of Nikes. Sakari heavy, in these streets, you better tread lightly. And real Jews don't follow behind clone. We just waking up the dead in a valley of dry bones all break. That ye may be the children of the light. Right, that ye may be children of the light, right? That's what we're trying to be. We're striving to be children of the light, right? That's what we're striving to be. We're striving to be children of the light, right, sister? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Did y'all ever hear that y'all daughters of Zion? Right? Lauren Hill said, right, march into Zion. That's what she said, right? We are the children of the Most High God. Read again up. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of the light. These things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. Right, so, right, after a point in time, that light, right, is going to be hid, right, from the people. And you won't be able, right, to receive that light. So, right, so read what you got. Ephesians 5 and uh, 8. God, this is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8. For ye were sometimes darkness. For we were sometimes in darkness, right? We were drug dealers, right? Because Esau said that that was what we uh, should strive to be, right? Right, we should strive to be killers, right? Murderers, right? That's what the white man told us our options was, right? Hoodlums, thugs, criminals, right? But now we come to see that we're much better than that. Come on. But now are ye light in the Lord, right? But now we are light in the Lord, right? Now we are reproving people that used to be drug dealers, right? Abusers of drugs, right? Now we're reproving, we're, we're reproving the people. Come on. God. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the spirit is, all, is in all goodness. Right, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness. Come on. And righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Right. Proving what is acceptable to the Most High God. Let me get Proverbs. Proverbs 6 and 23. Read your precept. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5. And I'll start at verse 14. It right. says, ye are the light of the world. Right. We are the light of the world. Right. That's not including everybody. You see that? We are the light of the world. You see that? Y'all are not the light of the world. Right. Y'all are hoodlums and thugs. That's what white people really are. Hoodlums, right. thugs, and criminals. Right, and y'all don't want to pay for y'all crime. Come on. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Right, we're not hot in this light. Right, we're coming out, right, to correct our people, to show our people, right, right from wrong. Right. According to thus saith the Lord. Come on. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. 
and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Right, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Right, that's what we come to do. We come to give light to the house of Yasharala. That's what we come to do. Right, right. We come to give light to Yasharala and judgment to all other races. Right, that's what we come to do. Give judgment to all other races. You got a precept. Oh God. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter six and verse twenty-three. For the commandment is the light, and the law is light. Right, and the law is what. Is light, right? And the law of God is light, right? So we coming out here to tell people what light is, right? Uh, let me get um, Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah uh, five. What's that? Five and twenty, right? Because they confuse light and darkness, right? We're in a time where people think that being dead is being alive, right? That you putting smoke all in your body is 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 living, right? That you getting high is living, right? That you smoking a, a pack of dope is living, right? And guess what? Weed is dope. Right, right, because y'all smoke it, y'all wrap it up, and y'all addicted to it. Right, because y'all want to be Chief Keith. So read what you got. God. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. Right, the Bible says death and destruction unto them that call evil good. And a lot of our people, y'all want to call, right, what we do evil. Right, that's what, what uh, a lot of people say, right, uh, brothers say. Right, on Tuesday, the uh, Muslim brother wanted to uh, fight us. But then he wants to say, oh, what, y'all are not my brothers. But them dirty, disgusting Arabs are your brothers. That That's your brother, right? That's your brother, but then we're not your brother. But then when we see a black man at a gas station asking for money, why, why that damn, um, 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 uh, 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 no, uh, sand, sand nigga, right? Why that sand nigga couldn't help him, right? right? He come in and asking his, his true brothers for help, right? right? But he's out of the gas station, right? Asking for help from his own people, but saying niggas can't help him. Read again. God. Woe unto them that call evil good. Right. What we're doing, right, that's right, according to the say of the Lord. Right, brother, you believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in the Bible? Right, you don't believe in the Bible? Well, guess what? Everything that the Bible says is going to come to pass. And your ancestors going into slavery on slave ships is recorded in the Bible. Right, regardless if you want to believe it, accept it, or understand it or not, it doesn't matter. It happened. It's history. Come on. And good evil that put darkness for light, right? That put darkness for light, like this dude right here, right? And most of his earlobes is gone, right? Damn, got his earlobes looking like a hula hoop, right? Read, read, come on, God. That put darkness for light and light for darkness, right? And light for darkness, right? Y'all going, y'all, y'all are mistaking us for evil doers when we are the ones that's doing right out here. Come on. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Well, unto them. That are wise in their own eyes. Right. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Come on. And prudent in their own sight. Right. And prudent in their own sight. Drop that. Let me get uh Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17 and 9. And, and here we go again. Here we go again. Right. Another another one of these uh sour patch niggas. Right. Another one of these sour patch niggas. Right. The Lord is going to destroy our people. Right. Right. For wanting to deal in folly. Right. right. Uh, so read what you got. Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. God. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Right, brother, the heart is deceitful above all things, right? Your mind could be telling you that smoking could relieve you, right? It could relieve your mind, right? But it's actually deceiving you. Read it again. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, right? And y'all got a lot of wicked right on y'all mind, right? Shalom, King. Right, and what we come to do is to purify our people with this good word. Right, brother? And right, brother, and you are greater than your concubine, right? Most high God will that you're an Israelite. Come on. Who can know it? Who can what? Who can know it? Right? Who can know it? Right? What's going on, brother? Yo, yo, my brother. Brother, you believe in the Bible? You believe come on, come in. Let me let me talk to you, brother. All praise to the Lord, huh? Oh, Saint John. All praise. Uh, it's back over there. All right, all right. All praises to the Lord, man. What we're doing is we're waking and edifying our people, man. Like, telling our people, right, the right way to go. So let me see that. Let me see uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra, what's that? Seven? No, uh, chapter seven. Next one. Uh, page. Um, right here. No, the next page. Uh, start from, uh, chapter seven. Verse four. Right, Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse four. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, and verse four. But put the case. Slock you. But put the case. The, in, the entrance were narrow and like a river 
Right, and the entrance is narrow, right? The entrance to life is real narrow, according to the Bible. Come on. Uh. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? Right, if you go not into the narrow, right, our people, you have to go through hard times before it get good, right? The, you're not just going all of a sudden have cherry pie, right, and, and nothing get baked. Right, you have to go through. You have to go through the cycle. Right, you have to go through the cycle. And guess what? The Lord actually gave y'all right uh, of good fruit, but y'all didn't want it. Right, y'all, y'all, y'all four parents didn't want it. Uh, drop that. Let me get um, uh, uh, hold that precept. Let me get uh, uh, uh Chronicles. Right, uh, First Chronicles fifteen to thirteen, or if it's not uh, first and the second, right. First Chronicles 15 and verse 13. Because black and Spanish made a covenant with the Lord. That's what it is. Y'all made a covenant with the Lord. So it's no way out. Right? It's no way out. Right? Just like how DS would say. No, it's 2 Corinthians. Lock it. 2 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 13. Right? 2 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 13. Right? And all so-called Caucasians. Right? All ca Well, you're all ca Caucasians because you're cave dwellers. That's what you really are. Right, so all so-called white people is going into bondage. That's what's happening. Right. right. It don't matter what team you rep, Baltimore, right? It don't matter if it's the Eagles, right? It don't matter. You're going into bondage. That's right. Let's say of the Holy Bible. So read that. Second, uh, not Corinthians. You know what I'm talking Chronicles. about. Chronicles. Yeah, Chronicles. Right, Chronicles. Second Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 13. Right? All praise to the Lord. Waking our people up. How you doing, sister? All praise to the Lord. Do you believe in the Bible? All praises. Can I uh, read you a couple of things out of the Bible? Uh, bro, let me get um, Leviticus. Let me get Leviticus uh, 19. Right? Let me get that. Let me get Leviticus 19. Right? All praise to the Lord. Because guess what, sister? A lot of people actually uh, don't believe in the Bible. We just seen an elder brother. He walked right by. And he, uh, when I asked him, do you believe in the Bible? He shook his head. Can I film you? Can I film you? Uh, yeah, that's not a problem. Right? All praises. Because his word is going to come out. Um, you can drop that. You can drop uh, both. Right, so read you guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see if this is not. And let me get uh, uh, Leviticus. Leviticus 21 and 5. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. All right, sister, this is the law of God. Now, now let's. Oh, so you know you're an Israelite? I know that word when he just said, thou should not hate that. Go ahead. Okay, well, well this is what we're reading. We're reading the Holy Bible, and we're showing that the laws of God, right, yeah. is not just only not wrong for our people to do, but it's actually the medicine that will heal our people. Read it again now. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right, when you go and you look at the Asian community, we see that for the most part, obviously you'll have some Asian on, uh, uh, Asian hate, right? Like when I was, um, up uh Kensington one time it was a um they was arguing inside the um inside their store right yeah. and they were saying uh stuff you know in, in chink language right so um <laughs> so she she taking the order of somebody she turned back and say something else to the dude cooking the food her brother or her husband right and she say it fly you know how females can be say something fly and she turned back around and started retaking the order Right, and then all I noticed is that the bull came up and put put her like in a full Nelson choke choke hole and started dragging her in the back, and she's talking about some calling the cops. But I'm up there dying from laughing, right? So you know what I mean. For the most part, these people know right to love each other, right? And like I said, you'll have a couple specs that they will afflict each other, but we see that white people know to love each other. Well, we know that they're crazy. That's why they're shooting up schools. But for the most part, right? People know to love each other. It, it works to love your own. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. They just spent a couple hundred years, right, in Egypt, right, under bondage of another race. So it should be common sense that once, well, that once the Most High God freed them out of Egypt, that they should love each other. But the Lord gave them this law section commandment not just for their time because like how it's written in the scripture but it's written for our learning today because we need to learn this today so read it again thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor right and there's nothing wrong with correcting our people right that's what rebuke means that's the ten commandments right 
well, no, this well, it's I not what you would know. call the Ten Commandments because it's it's no Ten Commandments, right? It's much more than Ten Commandments, right? It's much more than the uh, Ten Commandments, right? The uh, what you refer to will be found in the Book of Exodus, right? So what this is going to show, what th what this is showing is that it's much much more than Ten Commandments, and we'll read other ones too, right? So people call it Ten Commandments, but it's not actually Ten Commandments because people want the easy way out. Right, but God said it's much more than Ten Commandments. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right, correct them so they don't go off. And that's what sin is, right? It's against the, the transgression of the law. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right, and that's a lot of problem that's in our community. Right, we have perpetual hatred against our people. Right, uh, our people, we go around and we hate, right, our neighbor, but then what do we go and do? We teach our children to hate their children, right? Don't play with their children, right? I don't like their mom, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like their they dad, right? I don't like them. So your children don't mess with their children. So what happens with, with our children? They grow up and they teach their children to not like them. And then their children ask why, I don't know. My mom didn't like them. And that's good enough for me to not like them. So that, that way the perpetual hatred continues on, right? So that's one, so that's one uh, law, right? So let's show another law, right? And this is pertaining to the uh, men, come on. God. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter, uh, chapter 21 and verse five. Thou shalt not make boldness upon, thy, upon their head. Right, that, that should be pretty simple, right? Just don't, you can cut your hair lower, but don't actually destroy it, right? Don't actually have a bald head, right? Like R. Kelly or uh, Michael Jordan, come on. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Right, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, right? This is really a Hamite custom, right? But the Greeks made it uh, really famous, right? Especially with the uh, uh, string uh, strap that they do because they, they mourn it all the way down and just have that string strap, right? So there's not nothing wrong with letting your beard grow, right? And you don't have to let your hair grow. You just keep it at a low, Right, uh, brush level. Right, if you want to do that. Right, so we see that the laws of God. Let me get uh, First John. Let me get First John. Um, uh, not grievous. Right, that the laws are not grievous. Chapter five. Right, so we see that the laws of God, right, are not only beneficial to us as a people. Right, but if we actually see what that is actually, yeah, I mean, beneficial and it actually can help us from day to day. Right, so read that five and uh. It's the book of. First John chapter 5 and verse 3 For this is the love of God That we keep his commandments And his commandments are not grievous Right. For this is the love of God Right. So a lot of people go and say that they love God But do they really love God? The Bible says that loving God is keeping his commandments Let me get uh, Psalms Psalms 40 and 8 Right. So this is really the love of God Right. Keeping his commandments That's really what That's really what it's about Right. And, that's, and this is why we're in the condition that we're in Right, and the Lord will only turn turn our condition right once we start to obey Him. So read this. Man. In the book of Psalms, chapter forty and verse eight, I delight to do Thy will. Right, the Bible says, I delight to do Thy will. Right, you have to have delight in doing the heavenly Father's will. Yeah. Right, you not not doing your own. Right, uh, let me get um, uh, uh, Chronicles. Right, First Chronicles, uh, five and uh, fifteen. Five and fifteen. Right, come on. Oh my God, yea, thy law, thy what? Thy law is within my heart. Right. Thy law is within my heart. Uh, go back to that uh, Proverbs, that Proverbs six. Right. Let me see that. Uh, second Corinthians, lock it. Second uh, Corinthians five and fifteen. Yeah, Second Corinthians. I said Proverbs, lock it. Second Corinthians. Oh yeah! All praise to the Lord, man. All praise to the Lord. That a dog, that a dog passed our presence, man. Right. Damn dog, man. That's what all these uh, little hat niggas is. Right. Second man. It's a lot, man. Sorry about that. All praise to the Lord. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are God's chosen people. That's what we've been called to do. We've been called to wake our people up. Hold that. Let me get Matthew twenty-two. It's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 15. And that he died for all. Right, the Bible says that he died for all. And when it's saying he, sister, who is that talking about? 
when it says he died for us all, the all is, is, is Israel. Yeah. So who is the he? The he is Christ, right? Huh? Christ. Right, it's Christ. It's right, it's our big brother Christ. Come on. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. Right, and since, since our big brother died for us, we're not supposed to live for ourselves. Why? Because he walked this earth and he didn't live for himself. Yeah. Right? He he lived, right, to please the Heavenly Father and to die for his nation. Right? So you see that? So now that he died for us, giving us a way back to the Father, right, and, and, and showing us that we can actually change and be perfect, right, in the spirit of the Heavenly Father, all praises, now we shouldn't henceforth live for ourselves. Right? Because people smoke weed for their own pleasure. But God said don't do that. So now we can't live for ourselves, come on. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, know we know man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Therefore, if anybody be in Hamashiach or if anybody be in Christ, they're a new what? New creature. Right, so all praise to the Most High God, we're a new creature. We was drug dealers, drugs users, right? We abuse our people. What you, what you want to say, sis? Do you argue with Caucasian people, all Caucasian? Right, do we? Do you argue with all Caucasian people? Well, do we argue, right? Uh, I mean, not y'all, but I know you okay. Okay, what we do is we tell them their judgment, right? We tell them what's, what's going to befall them because that's what the Bible told us to do. We, we we have to tell our people to turn to the Lord and wake them up, and we have to tell them that their judgment is not going to be, right, uh, you know, holding hands with us in the kingdom, right? They're going to be subservient unto us. That's what the Bible says. Come on, read that precept. God, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the, way, uh, so like in the belly, I knew thee before thou camest forth out of the womb. I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Right, so the Most High God ordained us to be a prophet, not to only Israel, but a prophet to all nations, right? So we are the shining example that all nations should look like, right? And these are the 12 families, right? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, right? All praise to the Lord. And the family is coming together. Right, the family is coming together. Let me get Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah chapter 11. What's that, 11 and uh, 13? Right, the family is coming back. Right, like bro said, uh, like a hand clap. That's what's happening. Right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nation. Right, the ensign is Yahweh Shah, the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Right, and we are and we are pushing the spirit of Yahweh Shah. We're not pushing the spirit of what America wants. Right, um, prosperity movement, um, the L B G T P H. We're not pushing that. No. But you want to say, sister? Question: What do you think about make America great again? No, we do. We do want to make America great because of making America great. Let me get revelation because making America great is having America be on fire. That's what we'll make America great. Right, I mean, because guess what? America was never great for blacks and Spanish. You see the boats that just came in? You see the uh, picture right there? Right, where it got Emmett Till right there on that uh, picture right there? Right, it was not, it was never great. Emmett Till was only 14 and he got his face beat in because um, some white devil lied, lied to him. I'm talking about something that uh, he wanted to touch her flat, uh, uh, a wrinkly butt. You see that? So, yeah, I mean, so the Lord have to repay all that. Right. Let me get uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah uh, 30. Right, and uh, verse 15. So read it. Uh, 18. Let me see this. Revelation 18, and you want to go low. Yeah, 30 and 15. Come. Uh, at last. Hold on. Uh, no, hold on. Come on. What type of essay is that? Oh, you can start up here, though. Start up, start up uh, with Joyce. Come. In the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 20. Rejoice over her. So that's what we're doing. We're rejoicing because we know America going to get destroyed. That's why we're happy. Right? We're coming out here, and it may seem that we, you know, seem a little aggressive or a little angry. Right? You know. But what but what we are is that we're happy because we know that eventually we're going to be at rest. Come on. 
thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. Right, God is going to avenge, he's going to avenge us, right? So we really are the avengers because the Lord is assim assimilating a great team, right? Just like how they did in the movie. Right, I mean, they're assimilating similar, a great team together, right, to avenge the crimes that was done to our ancestors. Come on, right. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, "Thus with, thus with violence, thus with marching, with violence, thus with Black Lives Matter, with violence." So the Bible says, "Thus with violence, come on, shall that great city Babylon." Be thrown down. Right. It was built on violence. Right. Didn't white people establish America through violence? Yeah. Right. So God says, that's what you establish it with violence. Right. So thus with that, with that same energy, yeah. it, it gotta get taken down with violence. Yeah. And the Lord is gonna use his own people to do it. Yeah. Right. He's talking about uh uh it, these Edomites, these other nations too, right? From all these other nations, they're gonna bomb America. That's what because violence built America up. So violence is gonna destroy America. Right, it's going to destroy him and his uncle. Right, that's what's going to happen. So let me get uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 15, um, 30 and 15. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 15. Why criest thou? Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity because thy sins were increased. So I get, uh, 16. Verse 16, therefore, all they that devour thee. The Bible says, all they that devour thee, all they that put us in slavery, all they that put us at the bottom of society, right? And we know the people that's at the bottom of society is the people that carry society, yeah. right? Because they're the ones that do the physical labor. It's not people that's putting checks and boxes. It's the people that that's carrying the boxes, right? Come on. Therefore, all they that devour thee and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Right, the Bible says all they that devour us shall be devoured and all of our enemies right, shall go into captivity. Uh, go jump down, jump down to 20. Verse 20, their children also shall be aforetime. time. Right, the Bible says his children shall be as before time. We're talking about us, right? We're gonna be as before time because guess what? We had white people in slavery before under our King David and we're gonna have them again, come on. And their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. Right, the Bible says he's going to punish all those, all the, uh, let me get, um, let me get Baruch, let me get Baruch chapter 4, right, chapter 4 and verse 28, right, the, uh, the Bible says he's going to punish all those that oppress us, right, now let's go into these, uh, gospel songs, right, because these gospel songs, right, that our parents always say, what they say, you know, be at rest, I want to be at rest, but our, okay, right, that's not a problem, all praise to the Lord. All praise the Lord. This is what we're doing, man. We're waking our people up, man. We're telling our people that they are the children of the Most High God, right? All praise to the Most High God. We standing on them blocks. Rain cold or if it's hot. In season, out of season, because we got to feed the flock. And I ain't never had my pop. My whole life, he been all locked. Now I'm just trying to break these curses, keeping these laws until I drop. We came from roaches on the floor. A notice on the door. Baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth, the way it's soaking and it washed. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and